Working from home can be an incredible blessing. More flexibility, less time commuting, and less distractions from your colleagues and supervisors when you're focusing on the task at hand. But when the task at hand is growing your personal brand, you want the eyes and ears of your colleagues and your supervisors. So how can we build a robust personal brand while working from home? Well, we're tackling that topic today. We want you to build a robust brand and catch the eye of your colleagues and leaders. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne, and I've been working from home for years, in fact, decades, but I do see the slight advantage that my office colleagues have over me when trying to grow your personal brand internally at your organization. But rest assured, my friend, whether you're an entrepreneur working at home alone or you're working for a large corporation and you're taking advantage of working from home, you can still build a robust brand. We're gonna go over some ideas that you can implement into your workday that will help you build your brand from afar. Before we dive into these tactics, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell to be notified of new content. Personal branding is what I do and hospitality professionals are who I help. So if you're a hospitality professional looking to grow your brand, follow me for content and I will point you in the right direction. So let's take a look at some ways that you can build your brand while working from home. Tip number one, Opt in to go into the office at least once, maybe twice a week. This gives you some face time with your leaders and your colleagues. The out of sight, out of mind issue becomes less and you're seen as a team member and a collaborator. Make the most of your in-office days by scheduling your meetings with colleagues and leaders on those days. Tip two. Organize those in-office days around company functions, be it celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, and the like. Get to know your colleagues and leaders on a more personal level in these informal settings. Tip three, arrange for video meetings with your colleagues and leaders. Skip the phone call discussions and go straight to Zoom or MS Teams to connect with your leaders and colleagues. These opportunities on video also give you practice so that when you decide to incorporate more video into your brand building, you already have a head start on some of the best ways to do so. Another tip for video for hospitality professionals, if you do decide to do those one-on-one -on -one team member interviews, Zoom is a great way to do those interviews, work from home, and publish it to your social media channels. Tip four, find a mentor in one of your leaders. Get quality FaceTime with your leaders by finding someone that you can learn from. Mentoring is different than supervisory check-ins. You can leave the day-to-day -day reports for another meeting and focus on growing your brand and career with your mentor. If you're interested in learning more about mentorship, I did a blog post and video and you can find that video right here. Tip number five, network with your leaders in informal settings. Whether those are functions organized by your office or outside at external events, find some face-to-face -face time with your leaders at those events. Conversely, find an industry association that has a number of industry leaders. Consider membership into PCMA, MPI, ILEA, or Restaurants Canada. All of these associations also have local chapters. Tip number six, volunteer in the industry. Beef up your resume and your relationships by putting your hand up when help is needed. Volunteering can allow you to play to your strengths or learn a new skill, both of which can become part of your brand. Consider volunteering at one of the professional associations I mentioned earlier, or try your hand at your skills outside of the industry. It does open up your world to a whole new playing field with a lot of different leaders. Tip number seven, leverage your social media. Gain visibility into your efforts by your leaders by commenting, liking, and sharing the content that your organization publishes. Make a point of regularly checking in on the content of your leaders as well, and make a point of adding thought leadership to their content. 
Consider tagging your leaders on relevant content that you create and give your marketing team a little hand with some of the content that would resonate with your target audience. Tip number eight, keep your LinkedIn profile updated. Your LinkedIn profile is a dynamic document and you can always make changes and adjustments as you take on new projects. It's also a great way to showcase your personal brand. So your colleagues and leaders can check in on your profile and see what it is that you're doing for your target audience. Tip number nine, create or volunteer for special projects. Is your leadership team looking for someone to take on a special project or have you identified a special project on your own? Go for it and create a presentation to give to your leadership. Special tip, pull a team of collaborators together to make this project a go. You'll learn from one another and amplify your brand. Do you feel these special strategies for building your brand while working from home will help you in your brand amplification efforts? Drop a comment in the notes below about something you've tried while working from home that has helped you build your brand. And if you're looking for a community of like-minded professionals who also work from home, find us over in the Facebook group. We chat all things branding and LinkedIn, and we want to make you a part of our community. My friend, I encourage you to take advantage of the blessings that come from working from home. But at the same time, don't lose track of your personal branding efforts. Take advantage of these strategies and watch your brand grow. Have a great week. Bye for now.